Uh, hello. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a video on how to collimate your reflector telescope. Um, collimation is key to getting your Newtonian telescope to work properly. Because if you don't collimate it, it's, the images are going to look bad. It's going to be all distorted and you won't be able to see nothing. <coughs> also, excuse my, my cold. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sick right now. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to I'll collimate your telescope with a laser. Now, laser collimating is probably one of my most favorite things. Or probably is one of my... Well, how do I say this? <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite ways to collimate a telescope. So, what you're going to need is... A laser. We're going to be using this laser collimator. You can see there's a laser coming out of it. Yeah. And a two millimeter Allen wrench. So let's get started. Okay, so I purposely put a telescope out of collimation so I can show you how to do this. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do first is place your laser collimator in the focuser with with this, see this target? With that target facing the back, because you're going to need to go back here at one point. So, oh. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take your Allen wrench camera. Okay. So, as you can see back there, so I'm going I'm to zoom in a little bit. Hold on. Come on. Sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm trying to zoom my tablet. There we go. You can see, I don't know if you can see it well. See right there? Yeah, I'm filming with a tablet, yeah. You can see that there's a black circle on the primary mirror. Now, I have an Orion telescope, and Orion telescopes, or Orion reflect reflector telescopes, all had that black little donut at the bottom for collimation. So, as you can see, there's a, a laser right there, and that laser needs to be in that little donut. So, what you're going to need to do first is take your Allen wrench and put it in one of these little screws and try to walk that little laser into the little donut because because if you move it or if you turn this little screw right here you can see that the laser moves also so what you're gonna do I'm gonna zoom in oh I was about to I forgot to mention, when you're collimating it, make sure to keep the telescope horizontal because you because you don't want to drop any tools in there and have them damage your mirror. This is this is gonna be kind of hard with while holding a camera. So you can see the laser down there. Now I'm gonna. Oh my God, why is it all blurry? Sorry, it's just. There we go. So you can see the laser. Just try to walk it into that little circle. By turning those 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 keys. Whoa. And also what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to turn a lot of these screws too just to get it into that little hole. Or that or that little donut. Come on. Sorry, this is going to be very hard while holding a camera. Sorry if my recording skills are crap. So. You can see. It's getting into the mirror. Not, it's getting, in, getting into the donut.
And just like that, you can see the laser is in the. Whoa! Almost lost my balance. You can see the lasers in that little donut. Okay. You know what? That adjustment does not look right. Let me just let me just adjust it a little bit more. And hold on. Okay. There. Now it's not blurry. It's not out of focus. Come on, there we go. Sometimes the Allen key gets stuck in the screws. Or for me, anyway. And just like that. See it's in the middle of that. Okay, now we're gonna go on. To, uh, whoa, it's really zoomed in. Now we're gonna go on to the second part of collimating. Ah, <sighs> that was really hard. <laughs> now what you're gonna need to do now, <coughs> what you need to do now is call me the primary. <sighs> As you can see, you can see. Do you see that little dot on the target? Why is it so blurry? Come on. Okay. You see that little dot on the target? That's the laser. You need to get it into that little center hole. You see the little hole? You need to get the laser into there. So what you're going to need to do is come back over here to the mirror cell and unlock these little knobs. They're already unlocked right now. These little small ones. And you're going to need to you're going to need to move that little laser into the hole. So you're going to... You're going to... Oh, come on. You're going to need to start moving a few knobs until that goes into the hole. Okay. So. Sorry if it's very shaky. I'm, I'm holding this with one hand. So you're going to need to start moving a few knobs, these big ones right here, to get that laser to move. So you see the little laser. Yeah, okay. Ugh. Now the little laser is gone into this center hole right here. What is that? Sounds like kitties. Well, I'm scared now. Oh my! There's a kitty right there. I don't know where those where those where those are coming from. I think they might be kitties fighting. So after you. Make that late after you have that laser disappear into the center hole, you lock these screws. And your collimation process is finished. Wow, this is a very long video. I don't know why it's so long. So, that is how you collimate your Newtonian reflector telescope. So you have a Dobs I have a Dobsonian with me right now. And that's how you collimate a reflector telescope. Whew, that was a very hard video to record. <laughs> we'll see ya.